Hi YouTube, welcome to another video. As you can see, I have started piecing my um, crossword puzzle together. What I did was I took one of the copies and I cut it into four sections. I'm going to make four sections for the whole quilt. So here is the whole quilt but I cut it into four sections to piece it together. So I just take my little makeshift keeper and I just put it on row one so I count how many rows across. So you can see all the top are purple. I don't know if you can see that. All the top of them are purple. And then there's one color one on the end. So I just piece it together according to what's in the row. And as you can see, I numbered the rows. So it's, this is 20, but all together the quilt is 40 rows. So this is just the first upper half with 20 rows and then 19 going across. Although it's 39 going across, but I just cut it off at 19. So I've been, I started to label my rows one two three four so i can just keep up with where i'm at over here and as you can see like i have two pieces of fabric for this row and then i have one white one and then i have one purple one and then i have a whole section of white and then another white because this one i had to take off of something else and then i have a section of purple one white one purple and one white so what i'll do is i'll just start sewing the row together and then i'll lay it back down and then i'll sew row two together i'll lay that back down and so forth and so on until i get all the rows just going this way sewn together then what i'll do is i will take it and sew the rows together until i have this first quadrant of the quilt done and then i'll move on and do this is i'm naming this one part one and then i'll move on to part two three and four and then when i get all four together because this quilt is much bigger than the first one i did so i don't want to do it all the way 39 across so i figured i'd break it up into four sections that will make it easier um, for me to complete so i will continue to take you on the journey as I go through the different steps. Um, I probably won't put the letters on it. I haven't even cut them out. I haven't even designed them on the Cricut yet, but I won't put the letters on it until I get all four quadrants built. And I'll probably put the letters on one quadrant at a time just to make it easier. So continue to join me. In this journey as I continue to do this project and I hope that you're having a great day remember to subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next video